Ooh. Finally some ice. It's been the warmest October ever. Anyway, today we're starting the video on land. We're gonna hook the trailer up to the truck. We're gonna cut the rope up. We're gonna put the new traps on the trailer take them down to the shore and get them ready to put in the water. And a lot of this stuff seems repetitive to me uh, for long form videos. So I'm kind of counting on you guys' likes and comments and just feedback from you guys. So let me know if this is stuff that you find interesting. We're gonna get cutting some rope up, load the trailer up and lug the traps to the shore. Well, Larry, those shouldn't go anywhere, should they? Ah, they'll stay there. Yeah, I think so. Well, they're all down on the wharf, but we can't put them on the boat because the tags are still in the water. So now, we gotta get back to work. We're gonna get bait on half of them, and then the last string of the day we're gonna bring home, pull the tags out of them, put them in the new traps, put the new traps on the boat. So we're gonna get hauling and see if we catch anything cool. What's those eggs? She's a punch tail, so we're just gonna let her go. Well, there goes the last one of the day. Now it's time to put the old ones on the boat. Bring them in, put the new ones on the boat. Now we gotta take them all off the boat, and then we gotta put all the new ones back on. Too hard. Yeah, he's just staring at the trap. Change oil filter with him too. Well, they're all on the boat, all tied together and ready to fire out. The next step is to go set them out. We're actually on our way out with them now. They weren't calling for any wind today, but we've got. I don't know, it's dark out so it's hard to tell, but it feels like around 20. And we ran into it about halfway out and we didn't have the traps tied down because we didn't anticipate any wind. So now we're taking a break and tying the traps down so we don't roll them off the boat. Well, we made it and we didn't roll them off. Now if Keith tied them all together right, they should come off nice and smooth. And if anything goes wrong through the entire process, it's Keith's fault.
gotta finish baiting these things up and then we get a few days off. See if we get anything cool today. There goes the last one of the day. We ended up getting a little rope in the wheel, so part of the day off duties is to go down and meet the diver. He's gonna jump in the water and cut the rope out of the wheel, so that way tomorrow we can have a little bit more enjoyable day and a little bit less hobbling around. It's not good to keep rope in the wheel because it creates a vibration in the boat. Vibrations lead to stuff loosening up and breaking and boats do not need help breaking. And thank you guys also, I think we just hit 100,000 subscribers which is super cool. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I've been posting some shorts and they've been doing pretty well. I'm gonna continue posting shorts and I'm gonna continue posting long videos. We're headed back out on the water tomorrow. I'm gonna kinda try to stick to this weekly vlog style, showing a little bit more in depth and more behind the scenes than what the shorts show. So the shorts will kinda be like highlights uh, and then the long form videos will be more in depth and more detail for people that wanna see more than just the shorts. Anyway. Uh, we're gonna get this rope cut out and tomorrow we're headed back out to haul some more traps and hopefully catch something cool. We'll see you in the next one.